so great. 748 here. Well, there's a new business in town that offers nose to tail grooming for cats and dogs. Puppy cut grooming can do that and more. Andrea, owner Andrea Kokolka joins us with more on the services that are being offered. And we saw you uh, grooming earlier. I know that dogs love a good butt scratch <laughs> and a good butt brush. You were doing a yes, great job. Do. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Andrea. Yes, good morning. <laughs> so tell us about the new uh, services there at Puppy Cut. Well, um, all of my packages, they come with nose to tail grooming, like you guys mentioned. What that means is I do wash their face. I use a customized shampoo for them. While they're here, they'll get their, nail, their nails done up. I will trim and file them back. We also do teeth brushing, oh. flea shampoos, hair dyes, cat grooming. Um, pretty much any, any um, grooming needs that your dog needs, we can handle that for you. Um, and and I'll, obviously, skin, you add your flushes. You, I see you add accessories as well. I see the bow. I love the bow. Um, can we can we talk yes. about the dyeing of <laughs> the <so> hair? <laughs> sure. I've I'm got sure a they love that. There. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, actually, they just sit there. It's a it's a actually pretty in, in invasive um, process for them. They just uh, it just takes about ten minutes for the pet dye to sit before I can rinse it, and then I just dry it, just it's similar to human dye, and we're done. Yeah. All pet safe products. We offer temporary and we also offer permanent. And you and you mentioned pet safe. So what do you know what the uh, the pet dye is made from? You know, no, I do not know exactly what it is made from. It's all um, they all they all vary with different ingredients depending upon the brands as well. Um, but they've all been pet tested and approved. You know, very thoroughly. They're expensive products that we are using mm -hmm. um, to ensure that your pet's getting what's best for them. Yeah. Is, is that a real dog? Because it's got to be I Disney mean, animatronics. Right. That dog is so happy, <laughs> so sweet. Look at a love bug. Look, Remy. Oh, <laughs> she's she's so pretty sweet. much just perfect the way that she is. Oh, look at her. She just looks so yeah, happy. Want a you want a treat? Oh, do you want a treat? Oh, she's well, Yeah. If I'll you insist. Okay, mm. so I have to ask you about the uh, the cat grooming. Yeah. As a dog lover and, sure. and dog human for, I don't know, 20 plus years. I've never tried to bathe a cat, but I can I imagine know. that most cats don't like to be bathed. Right. How does that work? You know, no, you're right. Cats do not like to be bathed. Mm -hmm. um, there is certain breeds that it's just, it's, it's really necessary for them in yeah. order for them to have good health. Um, you know, such as like Him Himalayans, Persians, exotics, anything with a really squishy face or a dense undercoat oh, yeah. needs to be taken care of properly. Um, a lot of times people don't understand how to take care of them and they bring their cats to me with mats mm -hmm. and it's time to have you know them stripped down and taken care of and restart over and I can educate them a little bit on what kind of brushes to use if they don't choose to um, shave their cat in the future. Yeah. But it is all kind of a learning process. Grooming is training. So a lot of that is me helping them figure out what they need to do to best take care of their pets. Good to know. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing you have a, a dog area and a cat area, you know. Because they're both territorial. I actually, generally, I only take the cats in without dogs. So it's just oh, me here. That's I'm, smart. And I also, I do have a lady that works with me on Tuesdays. Um, but, you know, generally, it's, it's just one employee here at a time. Uh -huh. Okay. So I'm really able to control what's going on in there yeah. to control the salon environment to make it comfortable for all the animals. All right. Fantastic. So Puppy Cut Grooming, yeah. uh, 5806 Watt Avenue. What's your cross street? Um, you know, the closest cross, cross street is Carl. Oh, okay. um, when you look it up on the GPS, it says the Wiener Schnitzel is on the left, and then it's uh, two two streets down. That's literally what it says on the Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> so you go get the the pups yeah. and the cats done, and then go have lunch. There you go. And it looks like your phone's yeah, already you ringing. <laughs> yeah. Right. Go, right. go yes, into that is. phone because yep. like it's people a need to. Day. Yeah, I guess so. People are calling <laughs> you already. Well, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it, and thanks for your little friend right there. No, for I appreciate so good. it. It was a great opportunity. Thank you. <laughs> Look, she's just getting the massage of her life. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. She's a human. good dog. Yeah. She'll